Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I hope everyone is doing great. I really love spring. I've mentioned that in my last video and we are back with three more spring projects. I really hope you enjoy. So for the first one, I am taking a cardboard box. I'm gonna be turning this into trash to treasure. So grab whatever box you have and if you want, you can paint it. But just to speed the process up, this is super fast and I do like this design so this is just going to cover the box so I'm just going to cut this to size and stick it on so this is my box all covered I'm really liking how it looks so far so now I'm taking this piece from a ripped book and I've cut it to size. I'm going to stick it in the back there. I do have a little bit here, but we're going to cover that. So as usual for paper, I like to just stick it down with a Pritt stick or a glue stick. And at the bottom of my box, I'm going to be taking some hot glue and applying some moss just to cover up all those areas where I don't have the background from the book. I've got this dead plant now and I want to place it inside. That looks awesome, doesn't it? Almost Halloween, but we will make it look more like spring once we're done. And I am going to snip off all of this so it's not going to be as crazy looking. Just placing my hot glue down first so we can stick it in place. And now let's cut off all of these extra bits we don't need. I really love how this is coming along so far. I'm going to be taking one of these nests. Let's give these eggs a little colour and this is how it's come out. So this is where I'm going to place my nest. Somewhere around here, just securing it down with my hot glue. It's really coming along, isn't it? Now we're going to work on the floor again. I want to add a little bit more detail. And these I literally just went this morning to pick up from my garden all these little bits just in case I'd need them. And I think I'm just going to build it up adding another piece of bark. Now let's add some greenery. This is going to add just a pop of colour to the project. And it really looks like spring is starting. I've got the greenery and the little plants just sprouting up. I'm going to add this evergreen, just a little snippet in the corner here. I've decided to go all the way with the evergreen. I think it looks a lot better, so I'm just adding a small amount of glue. Let's add a few feathers. very small amount of glue and placing it right here in between the branches and a smaller one. I've taken these two snippets from the same page and I'm going to glue them together just like this. And then I'm going to add it right here at the bottom as the final touch. I've taken the dried flowers just to add some colour and make it look more like spring. I'm finishing off by taking my acrylic pen and adding these white splats. 
So here's the completed project. As you can see, I did remove the greenery. I don't know why, I just changed my mind. I felt like it looks a lot better without it in the end. Sometimes that's what happens when you craft, put things together, take things apart. But I think I'm happy with it now. For the next project, I'm going to be taking this can to hold that I actually haven't used before. So I'm glad to finally put it to some use. And I'm going to be building a birdhouse on top of it. Now I changed my idea a little bit but I do want a birdhouse and I don't have one so I'm going to be cutting one out myself using my machine, the X tool. So I turned on the X tool, placed my wood inside and got the templates ready on the software and I love the X tool because you can actually watch it, this is safe. And then they also have this pipe so you know it's got fumes, you can leave that straight out the window and it's so much better. And this is it all done and I'm going to head upstairs to put it all together. I'm back now with all of the pieces to create my birdhouse. So I'm going to stick these together first and I'm going to just use my hot glue to do that because it's the quickest. So here's my birdhouse all put together. This is my first 3D thing actually to come put together with the X tool. So now I'm going to start decorating the outside. I'm going to start with these cocoa liners to decorate the roof, make it look more rustic so that it can match the candlestick holder. I'm going to take my hot glue first and then I will cut it and measure it to size need a good amount for this because the cocoa liners are pretty thick. And then quickly place it on top. And then I'll cut off the excess. I've also cut a piece here because I really like how that looks. I'm going to do the same now on this side too. Okay, so this is how it looks, all cut, stuck down, I'm really loving how that's come along. I was debating whether to keep this wood but I feel like it just stands out too much against the roof and the candle holder. So I will add a little bit of paint, I'm not going to paint this on, I'm actually going to use a wet wipe to apply this because I still want the wood to show through. I just want a little bit like almost like a stain. So I'm going to use two colours. This is a tester pot. If I can open it. <laughs> it's really stuck on there. Okay so it actually looks like the colour of the wood but I'm just going to dab my wipe in there. Make sure my heel surface is all clean. That's actually really nice even though it's the shade of the wood, I don't know, it just adds something to it. So I'm doing this all around on all of the sides of the birdhouse. I've decided I'm just going to go with the one colour in the end because it came out good enough so I'm not going to need this. Now I'm going to be using some flowers that I've dried out. That looks so beautiful there so I'm going to cut its size and stick it on with my hot glue. I'm just placing a second one. Now I'm going to build a base around the bottom and I'm just taking some twigs to do this. Sticking them down again with my favourite glue. This is just going to make it look more rustic, more natural and as though it's actually on a nest. I really love crafting with nature, it's my favourite thing, especially when it comes to representing the seasons. I like it crossing over a little bit so I do give that 
excess there and just snip the other part off and then again just sticking it and then I've got one more left to do. Last one at the back. I'm just doubling up the sticks so it looks a little bit more natural again. I think I'm just going to do two because I don't want it to be too many. I've got some moss that I've collected and I think that's going to add a bit of colour so I'm going to stick that there. And now to finish off I'm going to be taking one of these birds, removing the wire from the bottom. Add some glue to his feet to stick him down. I did want to add some feathers on him because he looks a little bit, a bit sorry for himself but it just looked really weird. It looked like he was wearing a fur coat. <laughs> So I thought I'll just go with how he looks. For the final project I'm going to be making a wreath and the wreath I'm going to be making is quite unique. I do love making unique things and just thinking outside the box. So I wanted to design a arched window and I thought this is going to be fab to do on my X-Tool machine. This is the X-Tool M1 and oh I love this machine. It's really given me so many different possibilities and that's what I love. And this isn't sponsored or anything, I just love using this machine and I am starting to integrate it within my project. So I found the perfect vector on Google and I placed it inside the software, just edited it a little bit and then I set it to cut, set the machine on and let it do its thing and also I find this machine really easy to use so if you feel a bit intimidated with machines because I have a Cricut for about four years or more and I've never used it, I think I've used it once if that and I've used this X tool just so many more times. I'm so happy with this. This is definitely one of my favourite things I've made with the X tool so far. I, I just think it's so beautiful. Now this is going to be like a wreath so you can hang it up, you can add some twine there and hang it up or if you want you can place some wood at the back here to hold it like this if you want it standing. So I'm putting an arrangement together. I've got these pieces and I think they look so lovely. This is going to be quite a bright project to finish off. It really will be representing spring compared to my other two projects. This is a lot brighter. I do think wood is beautiful so I am keeping the wood as is. I don't want to paint it. And I'm just going to stick these exactly how I've got it. I've got this chick, it's super cute, you know I love vintage and this really looks quite vintage. It's actually a wind up one, I don't have anything else so I think I'm just going to go with it and I'm going to place him right here so the wind up part you won't be able to see anyway. Now I'm having the arrangement at the bottom. Let's take some leaves and we'll stick that right next to the chick. Cover up some of those wires as well. And then I've got this bouquet here. I'm going to take these three and I think they would look lovely right there. Again, very, very spring colours, aren't they? When you decorate, do you like to decorate in neutrals? Or do you like bright colour like this project? So that's it for today. Which project is your favourite? You know, I didn't expect that I would like the wreath as much as I do. And I thought I prefer neutral colours generally but I feel like that might be my favourite. I'm having a bit of a hard time deciding this time, but let me know yours in the comments below. Please subscribe for more content and leave me a like, it does help me out. Thank you so much for enjoying and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye for now.